Okay, so we're back now with um, Jackie Vaughn from the um, Upcountry Community Center, and she's going to talk to us about the Backpack um, to School program. So welcome. Thank well, you for I'm coming. actually Ruth Ella Turner. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruth Ella. Sorry. <laughs> I think you were looking above. I was, I was looking at Jackie. I just had Jackie. See, I'm new at this. Sorry about <laughs> that. That's great, though. So Ruth Ella, that's a great name. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the Backpack to School program. So if you could just give us an overview about the actual program for those who don't know. Absolutely. So the Backpack to School program, started in 2007. It's a very local program just for Amador County. Um, after we'd helped, we as in the community centers had helped with the Angel Tree program in 2006, our um, local advisory group got together and was like, well, what do we do for the kids the rest of the year? What, what can we do to support our students to know, help them know that we care about them? And so we brainstormed and we came up with the backpack to school idea. So what this program does is it uh, takes students who need a little extra help getting ready for school because as we all know, it's rather expensive to send your child back to school. Well, and you have to buy everything now. You have to buy everything, yeah. not just the clothes, PE, yeah. everything. Even the teachers do. Even, yeah. yeah. So what we do is um, families sign up ahead of time. There's an application process. We ask that families qualify for the free and reduced lunch menu. Mm -hmm. And then we try to fill a backpack, brand new backpack and brand new school supplies and give that to the students who have qualified for our program. Um, and it's awesome. We've been doing it since 2007. It's countywide. And what I found out when I started this program is a lot of the big box stores were collecting supplies to help kids go back to school. But when I inquired as to how those got to Amateur County kids, I found out that due to corporate policy, those supplies actually donated by local people in Amateur County went to other counties. Yeah, and th yeah, <laughs> that, that's very important to know that everything here, this is a local program, everything you donate goes right back to a child. In fact, your sponsorship, it's just like the Angel Tree, you can sponsor a child. And, and we modeled how we run this program just after Angel Tree. So yeah, you might see these paper backpacks, we just call them backpacks, around the county in different stores. What this does is it tells you, you can either buy supplies, you know, you find paper on sale and you want to donate it. Mm -hmm. Or you may um, want to sponsor a whole child. So this number right up here corresponds to a specific child. So when a backpack comes back in with this attached to it, this backpack goes specifically to the child that it's designated for. This lists out everything that that child needs to start school. And what grade they're in, which is great, yep. so you know what to get. So you know this is a boy in third grade, and um, then it tells us the pickup location so for the family. So up country, down country. Yeah. So what you're looking for then is we need people to actually support this project by looking for the sponsorships. Do you guys have um, locations or website where they can find out where to get these? So the website is not it, um, not up yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you can call the community centers. Their numbers are listed on the back of these applications. Okay. One side, it's got a list of supplies. The other side is directions. And um, where would I find those? You can find these up in Pine Grove. They're at the banks. They're at the Tattoo Parlor, Tattoo Betty's. They're at Pine Grove Video. Um, we're working on doing like a Stuff the Bus the first weekend in August with Walmart. Down in Ione, we've got Clark's Corner, the bank down there. I can't remember the name. <laughs> American River. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. I called you the wrong name. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh. So this is coming up actually fairly soon. So you have a deadline on these. When do you need your backpacks? We need these back in absolutely no later than August 4th. August 4th. We always forget up here school starts early. Yes. And we want to have our backpacks and supplies to our families before school starts. Um, all of us want our own kids to start school fresh with brand new backpacks. Families can't do that if they don't have the supplies ahead of time. Okay, perfect. So um, look for these. This is we need to have the backpacks. There, you said you have 500. There's children. about 500 children in our county, and I just want to point out that without local donations, students don't receive support. We don't have grants. We don't have financial uh, state or 
government backing this is completely community driven. See, which I was surprised. I when you first came in, I assumed it was like a state and we're just happened or local chapter, but this is actually something that was started here in the county for the county, which is fabulous. So Absolutely. yeah, anybody who can support this um, backpack to school, I'm going to just read you off um, a number to where you can call the Upcountry Community Center if you have questions, and that is 209-296-2785. And so they're looking for sponsors of supplies, or if you want to sponsor a child and do a whole backpack. Um, this is a great program. We I was involved with it with Yvonne and in Clark's Corner. And oh. what I loved, just like the Angel Tree, people were so excited to go buy for the backpack. Yeah. I got my kids. I'm going to go shopping. So, yeah, it was a fun thing. And um, also, you, you said you have volunteers um, who can help you. You're needing volunteers who can help you spread the word and actually um, take this flyer out. Get it around. Yes, absolutely. Get people to sponsor those. Yes, absolutely. Get people to sponsor. That's what we need. So, are you guys on Facebook at all or anything? Or we social media? Are, thank you. Okay. Amateur okay. County Stuff the Bus. Amateur County. Oh my goodness. I should have written that one down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will go search for you because then we can get out of the people sharing. Yeah. You know, when you put the information up, and then we'll, everybody will try to share it. And it's linked to it somehow through the Upcountry Community Center Facebook page and the Comanche Lake Community Center Facebook page. We're all. Okay, you two are liked connected. Or, yeah. Okay. So. All right, great. So they're looking for everything. I'll give you guys an example of some of what they're looking for. They're looking for three ring binders, backpacks, notebooks, graph paper, binder dividers, um, dry erase boards, the personal little ones, which I think is yes! interesting. Yes. So the teachers like those for the younger grades. They really? do all sorts of work at their desks. Oh, and it saves paper. It does. Yeah, Huge. that's amazing. I would have never. That would have been something I would have never thought of. Um, pencils, scissors, sharpeners. Um, reading books, which are always good, and they are asking these be new items, um, as opposed to a used book or you know some paper you have laying around the house. Yes. So, um, and you can actually, ex your, I loved your take of why you want to give them new items. Oh, we want to give our kids new items because we really want to show our kids that we support our youth. We support them doing well in school. We want them to go to school happy and proud. We want them to understand. We want them to graduate high school. We want them to go on to college, go on to trade school, and then come back home and spread the knowledge and you know, do it all again. We want our kids to know that we care about them and we want them to be successful. Yeah. So you gave me the chills. I love the oh. whole coming back, you know, <laughs> get educated and bring that education back to the county and help yeah. improve lives for everyone else. That's a, that's a great, great program. So, and it sounds like for the community center, you guys do the angel tree, you said. Yes. In the winter. Yeah, in the winter. <laughs> and this is your summer project to kind of support the kids through the whole year. Absolutely. We want the kids to know we care all year round. And then we do other th stuff. We do after school programs. We've got computers with internet. We have kids, you know, we know when the teachers have asked for those fifth and sixth grade uh, state and country reports because the kids are in using our computer labs. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they can print out and it's very helpful for families. Perfect. And so the community centers, all this funding, is that you guys also raise funds to supply these services? We do. So we're a nonprofit, so we really need cash donations just to keep our doors open. Okay. So you can give us a call at the Upcountry Center, 296-2785. You can donate directly to the Backpack Project, or you can donate just to, like I said, general. Just general. Like maybe operating. if I have some old letterhead that <laughs> is paper that you can use, maybe you guys could use it. We definitely we use um, old paper. People are cleaning out their desks. You know, staples, those kind of things, they cost money. Mm -hmm. And when we have to pay for those, that takes money away from other things that we could be providing. You know, perfect. So, okay, I'm going to say one more time. So, the backpack to school, make sure everybody, you look for these little yellow backpacks. They have them at the tattoo parlor, Clark's Corner, and um, Pine Grove Video. Pine Grove Video, so sponsor a kid so you can send them to school ready to do everything. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you, did a great job. <laughs> oh, we're off to Rome. <laughs>